everyone, this is Instructor Joy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your questions and nice comments. I really appreciate. Please uh, be encouraged to let me know um, what you're working on, what your questions are. So today we're going to talk about fast, effortless spiccatos. Um, a subscriber was wondering, thank you for the question by the way, um, this family is working on currently an audition piece. That's one of the m very important repertoire for all the families who are interested in joining in any orchestra to learn, which are Schumann Symphony No. 2 Scherzo and Mendelssohn's Mid Midnight Summer Dreams, also Scherzo. So Schumann sounds like this. A little <laughs> Mendelssohn like the so as you can see there's a lot of notes and you, you can see there's some bouncing bows and spiccato so, but as you can see if you so the key for this effortless spiccato is not let's say again the key for effortless spiccato is one thing, don't focus on spiccato. <laughs> I know it's hard to do. Because like boom, the I hear the spiccato, but how can I not focus it? <coughs> Excuse me. So the bow bounces itself. <coughs> There's a part where it bounces very well. Without you wanting to bounce too much. When you're playing fast notes like this, just keeping the bow on the string and trying to be on the string, but simply move nice and relaxed. And then you will find a bouncing bow spot. Something like that when you're playing special Schumann. But before that, Try to see using that bow spot where it bounces well, but see if you can do just legato practicing. It'd be very relaxed. It's very important that you keep your finger joint nice and relaxed, and then. Just get gradually faster with a metronome, but don't push. Just make sure in a slow tempo you're feeling comfortable. And if you feel like you're a little more settled, then try a little faster tempo, which is performance tempo, and you will see, as long as you have the bow in the spot where it bounces naturally, it will bounce itself without you trying it, like this. Like that, yeah? So that's how one has effortless spiccato without trying to play spiccato in these particular passages. Now let's move on about the Summer Night uh, Dream by Mendelssohn. Here, this is, it. Um, it's piano. It bounces a little more um, actively. But as you can see, it, I also use the same spot just like I did uh, Schumann. There is a, a little upper part where where it relax, uh, it bounces in nice and relaxed way. So if you want, just throw the bow, see where it bounces well. Also here, the key for effortless spiccato is not is. Uh, try not to do spiccato too, uh, too much. So meaning, just play legato, keep it nice and relaxed, and if you put the bow in the spot where it bounces naturally, it will bounce itself without you trying it. Yeah? It's important for you to keep the bow really close from, from the string, because a lot of violinists try focusing too, too much on spiccato, therefore, And you're out of the rhythm. You're already too late because you're too far away from the string. So just find a spot where it bounces naturally. 
then just use very little bow, allow the bow to bounce on its own without you trying to bounce and stay just very soft. there's a lot of string crossing here part so here is special try not to bounce practice slowly yeah very slowly and then once you feel comfortable then try then try uh, uh, a little faster tempo and you will see your bow bounces itself. So, here the key word is don't try to bounce too actively. Found a bow spot where it bounces on its own naturally, but you practice in a natural, relaxed way with legato, and then when you play in tempo, which is a little faster, it will bounce on its own. That's when one sounds like, oh, the spiccato is so effortless, so easy. And you will achieve that, trust me. Thank you for watching and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.